Number 39, which is the stronger base? And then we have CH33N or H2BO3 minus. Okay, so the first thing is, is maybe we can try to find a, um, a trend that maybe can give us which one is stronger, but these two are in a completely in a different category. We're talking about an oxo acid here, has hydrogen, oxygen, and then a random element in the middle. This is not an oxo acid, so I can't use that trend. These are not binary acids. Binary means that you're only allowed two different elements, but there's three elements here and three elements here, so that trend goes out the way. So I can't really do much with my trend knowledge. So the only way to answer this question is if you pull up Ka values and Kb values. These are from the appendix of a textbook. Um, so what I did was I went into the back of the textbook to find out what they told me. Now, I f was able to find this one, right? Right spot on, I found this one, CH33N, that's a KB value, right? And KB stands for base. So this one I don't have to worry about. But now when I was trying to search for the KB value of H2BO3, I couldn't find it on the appendix. There was no number. But I did find a very similar compound H3BO3, and that was listed as having a Ka. And remember, A stands for acid. And it looks like these are conjugates of each other. Conjugates, remember, only differ by one hydrogen. I have two hydrogens here. I have three hydrogens here. So there are conjugates of each other. So now I say to myself, okay, well, I have a Ka value, but in order to find out which one is basic, and if I want to compare it to this, I have to have a Kb value. So how can I go from a Ka to a Kb? So I'm running through the equations in my head and I say, oh, there's one equation. It's this one right here, right? Kw equals Ka times Kb. Now we could either use this formula or since we want to solve for Kb, right? And ooh, I don't like that green. If we want to solve for Kb, I can just rearrange this formula to solve for Kb, right? And if I do that, right, we would divide on both sides by Ka. So just easier for me in terms of the video, but you could use this formula and plug everything in, right? Kb equals Kw divided by Ka. Now, keep in mind that this uh, formula, the Ka and the Kb, have to be conjugates of each other. So you can't be plugging in like a random Ka value and then try to get a Kb of another compound. They have to be conjugates. So we know that the Ka was 5.4 times 10 to the negative 10th. If we're trying to solve for Kb, the question is, What's Kw? Well, Kw is a constant value. It depends on the temperature, but there was no temperature here, so we're just going to assume that it's room temp, and the uh, values in the back of the textbook are at room temp, so it works out. The Kw value for that at room temp is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. Um, you could just say 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. It really doesn't matter, um, but you probably have to memorize that number. So now, let's find the Kb. So Kb equals something over something else, right? It's the 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 5.4 times 10 to the negative 10th. Let's see what we get. Kb equals, calc out. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 5.4 times 10 to the negative 10th. And if we want to do two sig figs, no one really cares. 1.9 times 10 to the negative 5th. And now, I'm just going to copy that. This number goes over here. And this is now the conjugate base Kb. So this will be H2B, 
O3 minus. Now, since we have two KB values, we can now compare, whoop, we can now compare the two of them. All we gotta do is look at these KBs because the higher the KB value, so as you increase in your KB, you're going to increase in basicity. So the higher the KB, the higher the base, or the stronger the base. So we have a KB of 6.5 times 10 to the negative fifth, and then we have a KB of 1.9 times 10 to the negative fifth. This one rules, right? This one is higher. So if that's the case, that means this one, CH33N, is the stronger base. Now, some of you, you know, immediately right off the bat will say, well, this is negative. So that's probably going to be really basic, but mm -mm, always do the work. Just double check. All right. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep working hard. We're almost halfway through this chapter. Asses and bases are fun. We're getting into the math. So that's the good stuff. Um, I will see you in a little bit and I hope you're having a great day. Okay. Bye-bye.